Hi, everyone, and welcome to First Look. I'm Katie Couric here with Katie Boyle, the two Hi. Katies, giving you First Look today. And uh, we're talking about the top of the show, and we're going to give the latest tonight on the CBS Evening News on Hurricane Dean, which really, thankfully, didn't do as much damage as anticipated, right? That's right. It didn't turn out to be such a bad storm. And it's kind of ironic because FEMA was way prepared to, to deal with it. Uh, Bush moved up his meeting with some world leaders, so he would be ready to react. And the Mexican president could head back That's home. That's right. And uh, the shuttle landed today early because they wanted to avoid the hurricane. Right, and right. And it turned out not to be such a problem. Which is great news. Um, obviously, we're going to keep you updated on that Midwest flooding. I thought the pictures from that were so dramatic when they were trying to rescue those people and and thankfully many of them were rescued although there were a number of deaths uh, Kelly Wallace is going to be doing a piece the Deutsche Bank building erupted in fire over the weekend two firefighters were killed and there was a real problem getting water to the floors right. that needed needed the water at, for the firefighters to battle the blaze and now there's talk of legal action against the contractor That's correct right. perhaps even homicide charges we started a series this week called state of disrepair obviously the crumbling infrastructure in this country has been of uh, paramount concern since the Minneapolis bridge collapse and I'm really happy we're spending a lot of time focusing on this. Yesterday, Nancy Cordes did an excellent piece on dams in America and how really in rough shape many of them are and how dangerous that would be for nearby residents. Tonight, John Blackstone has a piece on levees. You know, you think of levee, you think of New Orleans as being the worst flood zone in the country, but actually Sacramento, California is even worse. And many of the levees in that town are in dire need of repair. Byron Pitts is working on a piece about the Rudy Giuliani campaign. Uh, he's been dogged by some family issues. There was a very damaging piece about Judy Nathan and Vanity Fair recently. His daughter Caroline was apparently part of an Obama website and promptly took herself off of it, I guess, on MySpace. Mm -hmm. um, She's heading to Harvard, by the way, this fall, I think. And uh, just a little tidbit. Finally, we have a story out of Frederick, Maryland uh, that's going to be very moving, that Kimberly Dozier, who was crit critically wounded in Iraq, will be doing about um, a mother of a soldier who very much wanted to erect a memorial honoring fallen soldiers in Iraq. Tragically, he was killed as well, and his, his mom is carrying out his, his wish, wish and, yeah. and and his vision and uh, obviously bake sales to get the money together she has a long way to go but she's not going to give up because it's what her son wanted yeah so that makes me even sad talking about it so obviously we're working but on a number of too. Uplifting. uplifting no it's I mean, okay it's we can have admirable. sad stories okay. too you know, it's all right. Life can be sad. Anyway, we're going to be keeping uh, abreast of other developments throughout the day, hoping for maybe a bigger lead since Dean kind of <laughs> puttered out a little bit. But uh, you can bet we'll keep you posted tonight on the CBS Evening News. Thanks, Katie. Sure. Anytime. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye.